Welcome to Good Mythical More. We ask you to tell us how you got fired from a job. True stories, we got like 900 responses. Right. We've picked eight, so uh, we have more to go through. Good chances. So, so maybe you were picked. Yeah, we're gonna tell you if it was justified or not. Okay. You know, and it would be definitive. But first, we're going to take, at a look, take a look, take out a look. What? Of a pet that was submitted with hashtag GMM Ready Pet Go. This one is from Lonald. That's Donald with an L. Love that. And we're going to name this cat. <laughs> uh, we're gonna guess the name. It's already been named. Um, okay. Uh, is, is that a scrotum? Sack Shower the Third. <laughs> uh, he's a proud cat. His face doesn't doesn't exude pride. He's like, well, what it's do you what doofus. do you think? Do I need to see a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he's has. Is, is, is it supposed to look like this? Milton. Oh, is that Milton? Milton wants to show you his package. Um, I think he's growing another tail. Look, is that another tail? Am I growing another tail? What do you think it'll turn into? Milton. Milton's curious. Cream sick. Oh, that's nice. I get it. I, I, yeah, I get it. I don't like it. Yeah, well, what Milton. Do you, what do you call him for short? Sick. Hopefully not cream. Okay. It's a good print song, though. Yeah. Okay. You um, want, let's look at the first one. I was let go of, oh, we didn't say who the people were. They're anonymous. They're anonymous. They're anonymous, but you okay. know who you are. I was, let, I was let go from a company after I got stuck inside a slide in the children's play area and needed to call the fire department to get me out. Not my proudest moment. What kind of company has a children's play area? So you were a McDonald's and employee. This is most likely a McDonald's situation. Yeah, when you gotta call in the fire department, that's tough. It's not so much that you got into the children's, like that you went to the play area, because that just, that means you exude playful vibes. Or maybe you're the employee tasked with cleaning it. Right. You know, you gotta spray that thing down, trust me. But I will say, I think. I've done some things in there. What this communicates. As a well, child. What, what, have you, what, what you do in the ball pit? Just fart it up, you, <laughs> you know? You don't have to clean when somebody farts, unless they really fart. Right, juicy farts, man. Um, I think you know the, the bottom of the ball pit. The lack of judgment was the fact that you didn't, you didn't, you didn't think about whether or not if you went in the slide, you'd be able to come out. That was where you, your lack of judgment and foresight really comes in. If you fit, we must acquit. Right, and the fact that, that you didn't, didn't fit, just and you couldn't judge that ahead of time. Yes, you right. deserve to be fired. Right, right. If you were a cat, your whiskers would have told you that because the cat's uh, whiskers grow to the yeah. length of its body. Sickle would have never gotten caught in that slide. What does it work? Is, is the whiskers grow to the width of the body? Yeah. So that they know if they can fit through stuff. I heard that. That sounds like something that wouldn't be I true, but maybe it is. A lot of words, you wanna read it? Yeah. Read it fast. I was fired from UPS because I ate chocolate out of a trash can. Ah! We had a room where damaged boxes would go, and inside that room was a trash can with dead damaged goods from said boxes. I found chocolate inside the trash can, still intact, but since the box it came in was broken, it had to be thrown away. I giggled and ate the garbage chocolate. Who wouldn't? Well, come to find out, that is technically stealing, and I was immediately terminated and removed, removed from the property. That, that's awkward. I was just eating the trash chocolate! You know, he's trying to tell all the employees. The thing I find interesting about these situations is that this one incident is what you got fired over. Now zero tolerance for stealing. Th like you think, you think maybe there's a warning. There, there should be a warning. Hey, you can't. You, you know you can't do that. You can't eat the chocolate. I understand. Right, you because it's chocolate, it's you technically stealing, but it's if not. If you do that stealing. again, you will get fired. Because it's not. Because it was in the trash. This seems like a warning situation. I I don't know if you had violated any previous rules. Yeah. I don't like know if you'd eaten other types of chocolate in the trash, I assume not. Um, so we think. But you did giggle, and you said that I giggled and ate the garbage chocolate. Uh, the giggle, I don't know. Yeah. The giggle puts me on the fence. A little now. defiant. Yeah, the giggle. You're not taking your job seriously. Maybe you should have had another. You shouldn't chance. giggle while you work. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Have you ever been fired from a job? Uh, I I would say technically yes. Tell us about. it. Now, that we're not, uh, now, not a layoff. It was a layoff. That's not a firing. This is a result of your actions. 
No, never been fired. Okay. Have you? Um, almost. When that summer in Santa Cruz, California, that I was a amusement park ride operator <laughs> yeah. for the um, this is good. and they put me on all the kiddie rides. Yeah. It, these things would just go in circles, and you would just put kids on them, and then you would take the same kids off of them, and their parents would just be incessantly like, yeah, the parents. just talking to the kids, the and worst, taking pictures of them, and it oh, was just pictures of kids. It was tor- oh. it was like the joy that these kids and their parents were experiencing oh. just grated on my nerves Sickening. so bad. Sickening to see I a just, family enjoying it. I could not. Mm, can't abide that. I could not smile. <laughs> I was so miserable. I could totally see the link face that was being made in that situation. And um, I was so bored. And uh, my supervisor came up to me one day uh, when I was having a particularly bad Show us day. the face, first of all. Because I've, I've, I've seen the link just like completely done with the world face. And like the little kid's like, ha, 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 you're eating garbage chocolate, mommy. Yeah. And, you're, and I'm picking up the kids. I'm touching their kids. I'm picking them up. Putting them down. I'm I'm plunking them in. I'm pulling them out. I'm strapping them in. No smiles. Just like flaccid face. It's like, oh, oh gosh. God, I just yeah, got yeah, to yeah. get through this. Right. I'm looking over there at my friends operating like the wave rider and all the cool, the tsunami oh, and all the cool stuff. And interacting with like teens and adults. Oh, teens and adults. Here I am stuck over here. My supervisor comes up to me, and um, uh, she said, "Are you okay?" Ooh. Ooh. Because um, you look like you're having a really bad day. And I was like, well. And you were supposed to be setting an example for the, you know, of your, yeah. that you, yeah. you love the Lord. A Christian example. And um, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm having, I'm just having a bad day. That was a lie. Again. I was, I was, I was hating the job permanently. It wasn't, it wasn't localized to that day. And she was like, well, why don't you just take the rest of the day off? And I was like, what is happening? She was like, really? She was like, yeah, I'm gonna take over for you. Um, why don't you just leave and come back tomorrow with a better attitude? <laughs> and uh, I cried. <laughs> I cried. You cried? I was embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I felt like I had let down my Nana. And my God! Hold on, Nana worked there. No, it's just I just felt like she's always watching. Okay. Uh, I was pretty embarrassed. I was not. It was not my finest moment. But I wasn't fired. I came back stronger than ever. Oh, for so, about, show me your face the next day. Uh, uh, for about fifteen that minutes. Still not great. Yeah, and then it was back to this. Not great. Not great. First day at a pizza place, okay. I took a pepperoni out of the container and ate it as a joke. And my boss just looked at me and said, leave your apron on the washer and please leave through the back. So what is the joke? Because I want right. to know what the joke is. Um, yeah, yeah. Because I don't understand the joke. I find it uh, my type of humor. Like if you're at a pizza place, <laughs> e- eating the ingredients at a pizza place? <laughs> Look at me. It's not really a joke. I'm... So I think you should be fired for just bad judge of comedy. Yeah, that was, du- that was dumb. You deserved yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Um, you, would you want that done to your pizza? Hey, let me read it. Yeah, read that, man. I worked at a bookstore. We had a bookstore cat, and I fed him catnip one day. Oh. He got super hyper and started running around the store, and my manager tripped over him, spilled hot coffee on himself, and broke his butt. Ooh, the coccyx. Literally broke his coccyx. Mm, that's tough. Mm. You should, but you fed a cat, it's an isolated cat. incident. That's just that's just a, a horrible sequence of events. Yeah, right? I feel like this is. I mean, what? Is, how come you know that the catnip is the reason that he tripped in that particular moment? I mean, a cat could have been at that point in that that place without the catnip. Maybe I mean, it's hard to make that connection. Really, right? Right. This sequence of events seems hard to prove. Um, I don't think it would hold up in a court of law. We we uh what is catnip? It's um it's edibles for cats, basically. It's right. A, it's a plant, right? Isn't it? It's a plant. It, it like makes them real. 
Like, we gave it to Sokka, and he was just very fixated on it. But he didn't, like, some cats are, like, they'll rub their whole body on it, and they'll, like, just get, like, real happy about it. But is it, did you give it to him as a treat or an experiment? As, a, as, a, as an experiment. <laughs> and what did he, just to see and, what he did. And did you say, think, we have to do this again? Lily, Lily had some when What's she came form? home from college. What's the form factor? It was in a ball, so he couldn't get to it. And like, it was, so, inside, it was inside something. It was inside a ball with a bunch of holes. Does that seem right, Nick? You give your kid, your cat, a yeah. catnip. Yeah. Would you say that it makes your cat high? Yes. In what way? Just that they, they their attitude is very different, and it, it affects different cats in different ways. Right. But generally, they just kind of become focused, like you said, and are hypersensitive to. They get a lot of work done. That's what you're saying. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I was fired from a fast food job due to the fact that I was too tall to wash the dishes in the sink, no, so no, I had no, to get on my no, knees no, and no, wash no, them. No, 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 no. You do you not can't, deserve this. You can't be fired. This is elite. You can't be fired for being too tall. Yep, you cannot. Trust me. You cannot. I also know a lot about ladders now. You know, you know the tallest actor to ever. If you didn't laugh at that. You got to finish your HR training. L ladders, oh ladders, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. Do you know the tallest <laughs> actor to ever win an Oscar? Um, Jeremy Lin. I don't know his name. <laughs> Isn't that a he, basketball player? No, he's an actor, which is why he won. Uh, Get it. What, what, what was his height? Because I don't know who it was. I'm just he saying. pretended to be a successful basketball player. Oh. Yeah, that's a funny joke, Link. Who, uh, uh, you wouldn't get fired there, for that. There's a pepperoni here, I'd be eating it. <laughs> Six foot four. Who? I don't know who it was. Six foot four? Six foot four is the tallest actor to ever win an Oscar. Yet you not know what who it is? Well, it was, there was what? an article about Jacob Elordi and the fact that he's 6'5", and how 6'5", is considered much too tall to be a successful leading man in Hollywood because it creates all kinds of framing issues. And how he's, oh, de yeah. he's defying all the odds by being 6'5". Anyone the, who works with cameras here hates the, you. And then they were like, six right. foot four is the tallest person to ever win an Oscar, and the average height of a man who wins an Oscar is like 5'8", or 5'9". It's like, mm -hmm. you know, you want that, short men. That's because women run Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Did you want to know who won that Oscar? Yeah, yeah. Tim Robbins at 6'5". Oh, at 6'5"? Mm -hmm. well, my article was wrong or else I might Women should run bad. Hollywood. This is uh, according way. to the LA Times. But they don't. That okay. was a joke. 6'5". Okay. 6'5". What did he win it for? Hudsucker Proxy? Probably uh, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. I think it was Hudsucker. I was reading the article and like most tall actors play roles like I was too tall, and it was like sp the way that they phrased it. Mystic River. It was yeah. basically tall actors usually play villains or strange creatures, <laughs> like Chewbacca, um, what, yeah. str strange otherworldly creatures or villains. Yeah, yeah. So that could be my future. Link. Skeletor. You could be Skeletor in the reboot. A lot of words, you wanna read it? I worked as a data typist and applied for a better position within my department. I was happy when I got called up to the boss a few days later, but instead of hiring me, I got fired. Due to a thorough check of my qualifications and current work results, they decided that I suck so much that I even suck too much for the low level job I already had. <laughs> if I hadn't applied for that better position, they'd never checked or noticed me and I wouldn't have lost my boring but kinda okay job. Data typist. Uh, wow, that's interesting that that can happen. They like you. They, you drew they, attention to yourself. They look a little bit closer, and they're like, "We well, shouldn't even have the low level." Job. <laughs> you don't need to be here at all. That's tragic. But I'm I'm sure you're a better person because of, I mean, look look at all the words you typed. You typed a lot for that. Look at that. No, no period. Presumably, at the end. you typed all this data. No period at the end. Yeah, you're fired. I got fired from In and Out after two. That's a cramped work environment. Yeah, especially it depends on the in and out, but especially some but of those that are just like the most in and outs are, are like they're just like the they're like a toll booth in there. Yeah, and you get up there and there's 48 people frying fries, 
And they're like, I mean. It's so intense, man. It's like that rope game we were just playing. They're all on catnip. <laughs> yeah, they do seem happy. I mean, how does, how does it not fog up in there? I, I they got anti-fog. I got fired from In-N-Out after two weeks for accidentally asking every customer if they would like doggy style fries <laughs> instead of animal style. But it took two weeks. It took doggy two weeks. Style. You know, people are like, oh, is he, does, he, does he not really understand? Would it? you like them doggy style? <laughs> would you like that doggy style? It's like, oh, oh, he, did, he said it again. Oh, he's been saying it for two weeks, boss. <laughs> You've just been four steps away on the complete other side of the... <laughs> yeah, you deserve everything you had coming to you. Because this is one of the things where the first time you said doggy style, you should have thought, that can't be right. But you kept doing it for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? The first time you said doggy style out loud, right. saw the reaction of the person that you asked. Right. That was your cue to change. But first of all, you don't need to be asking people if they want them animal style anyway. That's not something that they usually you know. should do. It, that's a secret menu thing. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. Yeah. Just put it out there. Right. You should be fired. Double. I mean, but double fired. But since we're here, I mean, what would doggy style fries be? Uh, just animal style on the ground. <laughs> I think you need to turn. You know, when you get the fries, you need to turn them around. You need to eat them from that. From that way. Yeah, eat him from the other side. Doggy style's on the secret menu at my house. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, a, we got another long one. Oh, yeah, cleanse ourselves. Secret <laughs> menu. <laughs> uh, what about the Flying Dutchman? Yeah. Uh, that sounds sexy. That is onions for buns? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you dummy. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's it's you know what it is, homie. No, but I've seen I saw it, it's cheese, meat, cheese. That's it. But it, I thought there was a, there's one where they take a completely grilled onion and they put it on the top and the bottom. That's, that's not a flying Dutchman. That's cool. That's something different. That's something different. Company golf tournament. That's that, a, let's be honest. Was more about the day drinking than the golf. While in my inebriated state, I thought it would be a good idea to see how fast the cart would go. <laughs> Speeding down the pathway, I hit a curb and lost control of the cart, veering into the parking lot, hitting a Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> Emphasis on the ah. Uh. A Porsche owned by none other than the company's CEO. Between oh. the cart and the car, I did $9,800 in damage <laughs> and was told to hand in my badge oh, wow. when I handed the CEO a check for the repairs. Yeah, you, you know what? You had your fun. Yeah, but... When it was the company outing, and there is drinking, and you, I don't know, man. I don't, I think paying for it would have been plenty. I mean, we've had, we've had completely sober employees wreck cars here, and yeah, we, we didn't have. fire them. That's right, yep. It happens all the time, which is why there's three different videos in how to drive in the HR thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The HR. They, I mean, it's like, how many of these do we need to watch? How to drive regular, how to drive doggy style, how to drive. <laughs> I mean, and, they, and they're all like, uh, if a car is beside you and then it disappears. Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> Into a tunnel. Where did it go, Michaela? Away. No, it didn't go away. I didn't do the training yet. It went to a blind spot link. Hey, you got a lot of catching up to do. It is not, this is, it's not just like 20 minutes. It takes forever. That, I'm so excited. Yeah. That's, that's how KG that, doing it yesterday. The one you that's probably really the happy. most important one takes a, a, a few hours. What? The harassment one? The harassment one takes a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned nothing. I already knew it all. You already knew it all. <laughs> gotcha. Right, 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 right. <laughs> There's a lot of trick questions in there, though. A lot of trick questions. Right. It was like, oh, well, I mean, the way these things are phrased, what are you trying to, what are you, it was like the whole point of it was that they would, you would ask a question, they would ask you a question, and you would be like, 
feel like I could answer this one of two ways. And then they, they wanted you to get a bunch of it wrong so they can then be like, and here's a video about why you were wrong about that. Yeah. It's actually a pretty effective, tr it's like somebody really took a lot of time to like study psychologically how to get people to actually listen to something. Yeah, 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 there was no way around that one. Right, pretty impressed. Yep, not that I was looking for a way around the harassment training, <laughs> I wasn't. But there was no way around it. Um, you had to just, you had to trudge through it. You had to learn it all. Yeah, but you should have been fired. In, like, uh, you know, sexual harassment, workplace harassment, intersectional harassment. Right. Well, there's so many, it's a great field. It's a great, great field. All right, so I'm gonna make a smoked tomato emulsion. Um, there, get some of that in there, that'll help, that'll help. <laughs>